attention, Montbello residents. This is a community notification of a new sexually violent predator in your area. Please stay tuned to the following short program for more information. Hi, I'm Technician Ron Hackett with the Denver Police Department. The Sex Offender Registration and Compliance Unit at DPD is responsible for the registration, monitoring, and tracking of all registered sex offenders and sexually violent predators who live in the city and county of Denver. Here's a brief history of sex offender legislation in Colorado. Our state laws trickle down from federal government mandates. In 1994, we had the Jacob Wetterling Act, which mandated that states would establish a sex offender list. Megan's Law of 1996 said that the public would have access to those sex offender registration lists. The Pam Lichner Act of 1996 stated that some offenders might have to have lifetime registrations. And the Adam Walsh Act of 2006 unified sex offender laws across the country. In Colorado, the legislature has determined that sexually violent predators, by definition, pose a higher risk to the community at large and therefore mandated that upon their release from the Department of Corrections, the community must be notified. Sex offender notification in Colorado happens in two ways. The first is passive and ongoing through the sex offender registration process, which is a list maintained by local police departments. The second way is active via community notification for those offenders determined to be sexually violent predators by the courts or by the parole board. Most sex offenders in Colorado are supervised by the criminal justice system in our communities. Most sex offenders engage in crossover behavior, which means they may have been arrested for one type of crime, but be apt to commit another. Many sex offenders have no criminal history at all prior to their arrest. There is no typical sex offender, but all tend to be deceptive, manipulative, and secretive. 80 to 93% of sex offenses are committed by someone known to the victim. Sexual deviancy begins in mid to late adolescence. Sex offenses are not impulsive. They are usually carefully planned, and most sex offenders are male. The community has a vested interest in helping offenders to be successfully managed in the community. Sex offenders have the same need for housing and employment as any other citizen. Any citizen who uses sex offender information to harass, threaten, or intimidate an offender will be subject to criminal prosecution. There are approximately 16,500 registered sex offenders in the state of Colorado. About 65% of convicted sex offenders are placed in the community on probation. The remainder are in the Department of Corrections or Community Corrections. Offenders may be caught for one type of offense, but be at a high risk to commit another type. Crime of conviction is only one indicator of risk. A sexually violent predator must register with the Denver Police Department Sex Offender Registration Unit every three months for the rest of their life. The offender's residence must be verified quarterly by the Denver Police Department. The full sex offender registration list is available by calling the Denver Police Department Identification Bureau at 720-913-6756. Convicted felons and those with multiple convictions are posted online at denvergov.org slash police. Remember, Sexually violent predators do not represent all dangerous sex offenders. The community notification process and sex offender registration are not a complete deterrent to sexual assault. Now, here's a look at the newest sexually violent predator living in Denver. Here's an overview of the registered sex offenders currently living in Denver. There are 2,267 total living within city limits. In Denver Police District 5, there are 197. Precinct 512 has 102 registered sex offenders. Of those, 51 have felony convictions and 51 have misdemeanor convictions. Josu Solis is a sexually violent predator currently living in Denver. He's 46 years old and was born on July 20, 1969. He's a Hispanic male, 5 feet 6 inches tall, 200 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes. He's currently living at 5052 Titan Way in the Montbello neighborhood of Denver. Schools located within one mile of this offender include Ames Elementary at 5440 Scranton Street, Howell K-8 at 14250 Albrook Drive, McGlone Elementary at 4500 Crown Boulevard, Montbello High School at 5000 Crown Boulevard. Parks located within one mile of this offender include Silverman Park at 12875 East Andrews Drive, Elmendorf Park at 12701 Elmendorf Place, Parkfield Lake Park at 15555 East 53rd Avenue. Recreation centers located within one mile of this offender include 
Montbello Rec Center at 15555 East 53rd Avenue. Bus routes located within one mile of this offender include Route 43, Gateway, Route 45, Montbello Green Valley Ranch, Route 54, Montbello Industrial Park, Route 121, Peoria Street. A brief history of charges against this offender. Sex assault, 10-year age difference. He's not on parole or probation and registered with the Denver Police Department on June 11, 2015 to 5052 Titan Way in the Montbello neighborhood of Denver. Past charges against this offender include sex assault, 10-year age difference, possession of narcotics and controlled substance, trespass, theft, cruelty to a child, domestic violence, felony menacing, assault, identity theft. Josu Solis has been determined a sexually violent predator after meeting the following criteria. Criteria 1, age 18 or older on the date of the offense or under 18 and tried as an adult. The offender was age 44 at the time of the offense. Criteria 2, the crime must have been committed on or after July 1, 1997 and convicted on or after July 1, 1999. Crimes include sexual assault, felony unlawful sexual contact, sexual assault on a child, sexual assault on a child by a person in a position of trust. The offender was convicted on September 13, 2013 for sex assault, 10-year age difference. Criteria 3, the relationship to the victim was one of the following. Victim was a stranger to the offender or the offender established or promoted a relationship with the victim primarily for the purpose of sexual victimization. The victim was a 17-year-old female. The offender was known to the victim. Criteria 4. Positive results are the passing of a risk assessment instrument administered by probation parole staff and a qualified treatment evaluator. Positive results include an assessment for the presence of a mental abnormality, a level of denial regarding the offense, treatment appropriateness and motivation, presence of sexual deviant interests. The offender was evaluated by the Boulder County Courts with positive results, determining him to be a sexually violent predator.